Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CBC Class 12 Tips and Tricks. 2019 has arrived and with onset of 2019, the board examinations are just two months from now. At this moment, all students are searching for those tips and tricks by which they can ace over others to score more than 90 plus. Today, we are joined by a very senior expert in mathematics, Mrs. Rina Marwa, who is the director of Marwa's Academy of Mathematics. She has been the head examiner for the subject of mathematics. Now, for, for those who don't know what uh, head examiner is, she has been supervising the teachers who check the papers of the students. So, I think we cannot have anyone else who can tell us about the tips and tricks for this uh, subject. Uh, thank you so much for joining with us. Um, the first question which comes in the minds of uh, the students for class 12 is the paper pattern. So, can you please uh, enlighten us about the paper pattern for 2019? Yes. <coughs> the paper has four sections. Section A, B, C and D. One mark, two mark, four marks and six marks. That has been the pattern last year also and it is for this year also. So, it's a complete 100 marks paper which has 29 questions. Okay. Ma'am, uh, when we come to the uh, section wise weightage for each section, so uh, I mean I am talking about a unit se section, so we see that calculus which comprises of uh, differentiation, integration and uh, other apl applications has the maximum weightage right. that is the 44 marks. Exactly. So now students when they uh, start studying or when they start preparation, I think that that is the most difficult topic because it has a lot of formulas, lot of memorizing, lot of uh, practice. So how do we tackle that uh, section? See, the calculus part, the introduction goes to 11th standard. The basic has, is being taught in 11th standard, mm -hmm. but we have more of its application in 12th standard. So the calculus is actually starts with limits, continuity, derivatives, and then comes integration. So when you have to go for your preparation, like when you are starting to prepare or when you are starting to study the topic, you have to do it a very elaborate way. Like you have to go through the textbooks properly, you have to understand the concepts and then when you come to derivatives and integration, they are related. Mm -hmm. Derivatives and integration are related. Mm -hmm. So the word actually goes that practice makes the man perfect. perfect. It is actually applied to this calculus. So if you practice it regularly without giving a break, it's very important, without giving it a break, you are going to get the hold of that topic. Sure, sure. Uh, Ma'am, when we now, like 2019 has arrived, there are just two months left. In that now, the students are uh, equipped with their pre-boards and there are n number of things, farewells and everything is going on. So, how uh, should they use these two months? Because in March, we have the board examinations. Yes. So, what are the, uh, I mean, how can they focus on, especially on mathematics because it is such a vast syllabus. They have to do with the other subjects also, maybe in, on co commerce, their accountancy, economics, in science, their physics, chemistry. So, how do we, they tackle with this? Now, see, once the topics, once I presume that children have already gone through yeah. the topics yeah. once. Yeah. So, they have understood the topic. Now, the best part with mathematics is, you have to first make your list of notes and formulae. Formulas. If you make those list of notes and formulae, and then the second step is, first of all, when you make the list of notes and formulae, you have to keep on reading it again and again, maybe on a daily basis also. That's not an issue. Secondly, the best part of it is, if you don't practice those questions, you don't get... So, what you have to do is, you have to frequently solve the papers yeah. and you have enough of papers with us. We have so much of material now. Now, only solving the paper is not the thing. Once you solve the paper, the first thing is solve it in that time slot of 3 hours yes. in a, at a stretch. Yes. Don't do it that today I am going to the section A, then I am going to section B. B or I got up for lunch, mm -hmm. I got up for dinner and all such things. You have to sit for 3 hours, solve the paper. Now after solving the paper, you have to analyze the paper. Now how do you analyze mm -hmm. the paper? There are certain questions which you get stuck. Yes. There are certain questions when you read the question, you are unable to place it or identify which topic it is from or what formula has to be applied. Okay. Once you analyze that these are the questions where you got stuck, you have to act a, in a convenient way, revise those topics thoroughly. Mm -hmm. 
and at least solve 20 to 25 questions based on that those topic, topic mm -hmm. so that when you go in for your next paper you don't have that mm -hmm. setback which you had in the first paper Means basically, we should get compatible with the board environment, yes. that timing of 3 hours and every, I mean that complete pattern. And the next question is related to that, how important are the previous year's papers and the importance for the next year? See, previous year's papers are important in the sense they give you an idea mm -hmm. of what level of questions, questions. are asked. Mm -hmm. We generally say there is 15 marks of uh, application questions, mm -hmm. there are higher order questions. Mm -hmm. So when you go through the papers, when you solve the papers or when you go through the papers, you get an idea that which are the topics where the questions come mostly from textbooks mm -hmm. or which are the topics where extra questions or questions from outside the textbook can be made as an application mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. So they are very important. Last few previous year's papers are very, very important, important when you are preparing for your exam. And my next question will be like there are many students who like ask this that like, is step marking still relevant in the checking because you have been in the system yes, so you know this very much one mark there is no, no step mark. no step marking at all so you get so the you, answer you get it's one a mark. do or die right. situation if you get the correct answer you get the marks so general most of the times teachers also say Same. that if you know the answer don't waste your time in writing the steps come to the answer quickly and highlight your answer answer but when it comes to two marks three marks and four four marks and six marks yes step markings are okay. there but it is very important that you get the correct answer <laughs> because see if you do not get the correct answer then it becomes subjective mm -hmm. the examiner is going to decide till what, what step you are correct, correct. Yes. so there you cannot challenge yes. see i have corrected mm -hmm. till the la second last step so out of four mm -hmm. i should get three and a half mm -hmm. no that is the examiner's yes. opinion um, uh, my next question will be like, uh, is NCIB sufficient for the preparation for class 12 board exam? No, as I have said, when you go through the previous year's papers, you have to analyze. Mm. NCRT is the base. Mm. The concepts or the formula based questions or the application based questions, they are all going to be based on NCRT. Mm -hmm. But they are not going to be verbatim from the NCRT. Okay. So when you have to solve questions which are application based, which are formula based, you have to go in for some extra practice also. Okay. There are certain topics where you can make many questions and there are the previous years uh, papers yes, actually mm -hmm. they reflect mm -hmm. that some of the topics the questions are generally from outside, outside the textbook the and some the are from the textbook so mm -hmm. that's what i said earlier also go through the textbook prepare your textbook thoroughly well, find out which are the topics which are you are finding mm -hmm. questions from outside the textbook mm -hmm. and practice those questions from the reference books yeah. Um, I guess all the most of the queries are resolved now. Lastly, any tips and tricks from your side to the students who are appearing for 2019 exam? Yes. First thing I would like to say that there is a big phobia with this subject mm, mathematics. mathematics. Remember and tell yourself every time that whatever is going to come in the exam is under this sky. Right. It is not yeah. something from the other universe. That is the biggest thing. Which question will come? What will come? Mm -hmm. Don't ask these questions to yourself. Keep on telling yourself that the questions which you are going to see in the paper, you have already seen them. Mm -hmm. If you go with that confidence, half of your problem is solved. So you have to hold yourself for those three hours. Yes. To hold yourself for those three hours, you have to mentally prepare, prepare yourself it. that you have done 100%. You have prepared 100% and you have not left any topic. That you have to keep on telling yourself that I have completely listed my formula list, list I have completely done my notes. So whatever question is going to come, I have to tackle it and I have already done that type of question. Mm -hmm. If you tackle the question with that idea, there will be no mm -hmm. issue at all. And Please practice those papers in that time, time. because time. as far the calculation goes, every mark 
you can give only you can afford to give Almost only two, two minutes, minutes. Yes. so accordingly if you are solving a four mark question you should know mm -hmm. that you have to have one minute to read mm -hmm. one, one minute, minute to check out what mm -hmm. formula it is or what application it is and the last five minutes to solve it and last question somewhat hypothetical is a perfect score of 100 possible in maths very much possible very much possible see 95 getting 95 or 98 is very easy hmm. converting 98 to 100 100. requires lots of efforts and again these factors right. matter i know i have to get 100 hmm. marks so i am preparing for that 100 marks if you go with that idea and if you prepare with that idea it is not at right. all difficult not at all difficult Sure. Thank you so much for joining us. I guess all our students who are pairing must be relieved after uh, listening and I'm sure they are going to implement it in their examinations.